Lead the Way, a podcast for school leaders with author, speaker, and educator, Dr. Bill Ziegler. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Lead the Way, a podcast for principals by principals in five minutes or less. I hope that this podcast finds you well and that you're staying healthy and strong. We are living in unprecedented times that are really difficult to navigate as a principal. Many schools across the United States are closed as we need to social distance ourselves to protect from the spread of coronavirus. But the work of the principal is far from done. Principals are considered to be one of the most trusted leaders in their community, according to the Pew Research Center. The closure school can silence the voice of the principal in helping to lead their community. Here are five ways principals can lead when your school is closed. Communicate. Without a doubt, one of the most important things a principal can do is to keep the lines of communication open with students, parents, and staff. Leverage your communication tools to send out messages about important updates, ideas to support learning while closed, and ideas for parents to do with their kids while they're at home. Plus, send out reminders to your staff that you're there to support them in the online learning process. Provide them your cell number and offer to help out whenever they need. Use social media as a tool to continue communicating with parents. Next, be a team player. These are the hardest times that we've been through in years as schools. As a result, our supervisor, our district office, and our superintendent needs us to be a team player who comes around and supports one another. Call your superintendent up, ask him how you can help out, and what can you do to join the team. Next, be creative. These times require us to find creative ways to positively support our students and staff. Two outstanding school leaders that I absolutely love are Allison Apstein's an elementary school principal. She reads a book aloud to her students using YouTube. It's a great tool. Her kids can see her, they can learn, and they can read a book together. My good friend Jim Orachowski, an elementary school principal in central Pennsylvania, he welcomes students every morning with just a word of wisdom, announcements from the principal's office, and he also does a book read. Just some great ways to connect during this time. Some other good ways, perform a rap that talks positively about washing your hands, social distancing, and how to continue learning while at home. Host a Facebook Live session to answer student and parent questions. Host a Twitter chat for your community and start a wild goose chase with your faculty and staff. Goose Chase is a great app. It's free for educators. You can get into a fun game online. It builds community. Next, be a fact finder. Mistruths are swirling around our world right now more than I've ever remembered before. Serving as a fact finder and guiding students, parents, and staff where to go to get the facts and how to dispel the myths can help calm fears and increase confidence that we will get through this together. Next, inspire hope. So many of us are consumed by fear right now. The messaging we're hearing from media can overwhelm us and cause us to fret and worry. We need to be sending a message of hope, encouragement, and inspiration during this time. I believe that people are hungering for things to read, view, and listen to that are positive, upbeat, and about their school. Share success stories, alumnus from your school. Showcase student work on social media. Post student artwork on Instagram. And share videos from your school. It's time that we inspire hope and empower our students, parents, staff, and community in a way that gives them hope that we will get through this together. Because we believe that we are stronger, better together. Also, I'd encourage you to check out my new book, You Don't Need Superpowers to Be a Kid's Hero, Leading a Hero-Building School Culture. Our schools need heroes today, so check out that book and be someone's hero. I want to encourage you to be safe, be strong, and stick together, because we're better together. You've been listening to Dr. Bill Ziegler with Lead the Way. Bill has great resources for school leaders at chaselearning.org. That's chaselearning.org. Thanks for listening to Lead the Way with Dr. Bill Ziegler. Thank you.